Hi there, in this video we will try to compare the projects with unequal lives because in real life the projects are not likely to have the same lifespan. So how we can do this? There are basically two methods to do the comparison. Let us see how we can do this. Primarily we should try to compare the projects who have the same discounting period because they will allow for the same opportunity to accumulate costs and benefits but in real life it might not be the case all of the times this is why we have to come up with some alternative methods and they are not directly comparable so there has to be some indirect way or some alternative way of uh, calculating their NPVs. So in this example we have government owned electric utility company and it is considering two of the alternatives that it has to generate power. The first alternative is by using the hydroelectric dam and it is likely to last for 75 years. So the project life is 75 years. The alternative is the small cogeneration plant and it is likely to last for 15 years. So after considering all relevant social benefits and costs and assuming a discount rate of 8%, we have found that the NPV uh, of hydroelectric dam is $30 million and this alternative has a life of 75 years. And the calculation of NPV for cogeneration plant that has a lifespan of 15 years is 24 million in terms of dollars. So primarily we can see that the uh, longer project uh, seems to be more desirable because it has a higher NPV but it's not necessarily the case. So we don't have to go with the intuition. We have to make them comparable because right now they are not comparable because of their virtue of having different lifespans. Uh, a very intuitive hack would be that we can roll over the smaller project and we can try to roll it over for a number of times to make it equivalent on the whole to the larger project. And here we can see that if we try to roll over this project five times, it will become equal to the lifespan of the other project that is 75 years. So it is quite a bit um, intuitive and we will use this intuition in one of these methods. So the first is definitely the rollover method that we just anticipated. And the second one is the equivalent annual net benefit method, which is a kind of average thing that we will try to calculate. But the result in both of the cases will be the same. It will favor the same project. We can see this once we solve both of the methods. The first one is known as the rollover method or replacement chain method. And let us consider the same example that we started our discussion with that we are considering the cogenerational plant uh, by repeating it a number of times in order to create an equivalence between the time span of the hydroelectric dam and the cogenerational plant. What we can do is we can further conduct the same project, assume as if it is conducted for the next 15 years and then another for the next 15 years that will make it 15 plus 15 is 30 and then another 15 will make it 45 and then another 40, uh, 15 will make it 60. So these four replicas of the original project will give us 60 years and when these 60 years will be added into the original 15 years of the cogenerational plant then it will be 75 years on the whole. This can be seen that there are five sequential cogenerational plants and they will be same as the length of the 75 year hydroelectric project. Definitely it can be seen with the help of this equality which is self-explanatory. 15 years of CGP it is happening five times. In other words five back-to-back -back 
CGPs are equivalent to one AHED or now the purpose of doing this equivalence is served and that is that we can compare NPV of HED with the NPV of CGPs because now the comparability is achieved and now we can compare them. We can compare it with the, the help of this timeline. This is NPV which is 30 million and it is based on the value of the first 15 years so actually there are 15 years but if we undertake a replica it will add 15 years to it and there will be a total of 15 years of replica but if we undertake another replica it will become total 30 years of replica and further 15 that is another replica will make it 45 years of replica and another will make it 60 years of replica so first second third and four replicas if undertaken will be added into this original npv and the time span will become 75 years so this is what we are trying to do by visualizing this timeline we can try to see that how it is now logical and acceptable so now the comparability is there because what we have done is we have done it for five times 15 years each and this is the npv of cgp after 15 years and then after 13 years 30 years and 45 years and then 60 years this is how this npv will be calculated so this is the calculation of it we can see that this is actually the original npv and then we use that npv and we discount it considering the discount rate and we keep the time 15 uh, though this is also representing the npv of first 15 years but we are going to write 15 here because this is the npv which is already calculated on the basis of discount rate and first 15 years and this is the original one now these are basically addition or a restart of the same project therefore the discount rate will remain the same however the time span will start from one so here we can see the first replica uh, it has this 15 because after the completion of the original project we have moved 15 years and then after uh, for the next uh, replica the time is now 30 because once this is completed the original one we have spent 15 years and then 15 years which makes it 30 and another 15 years will make this 30 as 45 so this addition will give us this overall value and that is 60 60 plus these 15 years will make it 75 years so back to back replicas are conducted for 60 years overall it will become 75 years these are the replicas and this is the overall 75 years calculation now we can do the simple calculation here the answer is given and we can write it in terms of millions we have converted into millions now we can easily compare this version of npv of cgp with hed's npv and hed's NP is, npv is 30 million whereas the cgp with replicas and rolling over method is now 34.939 this means that while if we can you know allow opportunity to the cgp to be repeated for the same number of years it becomes more beneficial as compared to the hed so cgp is now found to be preferable to hed which is uh, counterintuitive because it was previously less profitable but now it is now profitable even though it is with smaller span of time 
Now there is another way of doing this. This alternative method is uh, a kind of uh, opposite approach to the rolling over method because in rolling over method we used to extend the analysis by repeating or bringing in the replicas. But here we will try to go backward by shrinking the analysis or finding a kind of average. Let us see how we can do this. It is actually an easier way because now we are shrinking the analysis and uh, we are going to compare the projects with unequal lengths of time. It is known as the equivalent annual net benefit. As the name goes, it is basically a kind of equivalent and which gives us the estimate on annual basis and the this is the formula for it uh, we are going to divide npv with the annuity factor where the formula of an annuity factor is already known and this enb in other words is that amount if received each year for the life of the project would be the same npv as the project itself so it's a kind of uh, um, a breakup of the projects NPV into its annual values for all those annual values if we gather the NPVs it will be equal to the total NPV so it's like slicing it down on annual basis now the formula its application is done here for HED and for CGP we have calculated the equivalent annual net benefits and here the other alternative this is the formula uh, mentioned HED in every place where it would be making sense. This is the annuity factor for HED. This is the annuity factor for CGP. And respectively, we have NPV for CGP and NPV for HED. Uh, definitely, the formula of annuity factor is there, which we have substituted here. And then we have um, the annuity factor formula for CGP which is the same except for the time span and then the substitution this is the NPV of HED this is the NPV of CGP their original values and this is the calculation of their respective annuity factors finally we get the uh, answer and this is the answer for HED and this is the answer for CGP so here it is visible that CGP has a higher value that is the equivalent annual net benefit. So estimate for annual basis is showing that CGP is more efficient as compared to AHED. And technically speaking it is also evident because the co-generational method is more efficient of, of the use of uh, fuel or heat and otherwise there can be wasted heat from the electricity generation so it is intuitive as the co-generational method is considered to be more efficient and both of the methods they are representing that cgp is superior as compared to the ahed both rollover method and the equivalent annual net benefit have verified the same thing so this is how the two methods have been used to uh, compare two projects with different lives uh, an equivalent annual net benefit method and then the rolling over method that we saw these are the two methods that we understood and the purpose is served and that is to compare two projects that are unequal in terms of their life thank you